It's your first time with a new Wrangler? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. This is a 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Unlimited means it's a four-door. Okay. You can still get the two-door. Okay. Um, it's the Rubicon. The Rubicon's top of the line in the Wranglers because of its off-road capabilities. Oh, okay. Here we're going to test out stability first on this wedge. It's a 30-degree angle sideways. We'll go up on my side, then we'll switch it up and throw you up in the air. So oh, wow. You can sit here and rock it all day, it won't go anywhere. It's got a real low wow. center of gravity. Not top heavy. If you did roll over, you got your roll bar to protect. Oh, you. nice. Now, how much do these run typically? They'll I mean, typically run anywhere between about almost mid thirties to about forty-five around there. Oh, okay. It's got the new Pentastar three-point uh, six liter. Uh, bumped up the horsepower from last year's model from 202 to about 285. Oh, wow. 260 foot pounds of torque. Is that a V8 or a V6? V6. Oh, okay. Yep. Ground clearance about 10 and a half inches of ground clearance. There's also skid plates underneath your transfer case to protect it from getting banged up. Nice. Handles those logs. No problem. Yeah. You can take all four doors off in the summertime if you like. Oh, wow. If you're a little adventurous, That's take cool. the top all the way off. You can get a three piece hard top, soft top, or you can get both. There's drain plugs underneath the carpet so you can spray it out. Oh, okay. Sweet. Yeah, we're coming up on maneuverability. Okay. Let's see how neat and all those stumps look. Notice how smooth it makes it up and over, though. We're basically just idling with this Rock Track four wheel drive system, the four low and first gear. Has a four to one gear ratio. So oh, you're okay. not even doing it gas. Yeah. Oh, and this is not. It's pretty smooth, too, huh? right? Yeah, it's weird. Here on articulation, see how the ramp is all uneven? Oh, yeah. I push this button right here, it's called electronic disconnect and sway bar. It disconnects your front right and sway bar, giving you an extra about 17 and a half degrees wow. of articulation. That's pretty cool. See, right now we're at the top of the ramp. Tires are all crunched in. You can see them to the side there, right? but you can't feel anything. Oh they're yeah, yeah. Those have Dana 44 axles in the front and rear. You can engage your axle locks right here with the push of a button. Oh, okay. And this hill right here is a 35 degree angle up and down. Oh wow. And it's 20 feet high, 18 wow. feet high. So we'll be sitting about 20 feet up here. Oh, okay. I only need to give it about 1,500 RPMs to make it up. You'll be looking right at the sky. It's like a roller coaster, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> get a nice view up here of everything. On the way down, I push this button right here. It's called Hill Descent. I'm going to take my foot off the brake. Use the braking system to slow you down on its own. It'll keep you about a mile per hour the whole way down. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> you have any questions before we get out? Uh, no. Well, actually, how long has this Rubicon model been out? A Rubicon's been around.